You know, as many videos as I've done, I've always find it the most difficult to introduce the actual video. But in this video, we're going to take a look at two things. One, receiving automatic identification system information, which is information regarding ships such as name, core speed, registration number, and other information. But the reason why I'm doing this is just to show uh, one way of doing it, but also to show that SDR Angel and the Caribou Light work together. Okay, If you watched my previous video and you've got yourself set up with the Caribou Light, you would have noticed that SDR Angel doesn't load. That is because I built it on the Pi 5 and although I've mentioned it to the SDR developers still to this day, when you compile it on the 5, it's looking very specifically at that CPU type and then when you try to load it on the Pi 4 it won't load. So I took the liberty of rebuilding it all in the Pi 4 which takes quite a while from source and I've made a Debian package and I'll put a link in the description if you download that package for those of you running the latest Dragon OS Pi 64 with the Caribou Lite this is really aimed at you you install that and by the end of this video you'll see how I use SDR Angel, which if you're not familiar with it, really good app, a great application with lots of different plugins, demodulators, all sorts of features. Here's the GitHub page for that. But we're going to jump right into this. I've already downloaded the Debian package that I'm referring to that I've uh, rebuilt and packaged up here. We're going to do a sudo dpkg i SDR Angel. While that's installing over the old one, uh, I have an antenna that's hooked up and essentially, you know, in an area where there should be some ship related information. It's just broadcast over the air, you know, no, no, like, you know, encryption being broken or anything like that. It, it's really just to educational purposes and to see and, and, and understand um, this information that's going over the air. I should point out too there's another great application AIS Catcher and maybe in another video I'll show how to compile that but that too should work with Caribou Light because it has a uh, soapy capability to it. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've missed what we should be able to do though is go into op install uh, SDR Angel bin and I'm doing this because I want to run it manually and tell it by using dash dash soapy to use the soapy capability. It's going to go really fast because I've loaded SDR Angel up before but you would see that it loads the uh, Caribou Light. And what you're also going to notice is when you open it the first time you may be asked hey do you want to set up well, I'll show you. It, it probably will look like something like this. You can close this window out, or you can kind of use it as a getting started point, but it's not going to set up it correct because it's for the RTL SDR. The other thing is when you open it the first time, like say you rebooted the Pi and you open it up, I've seen where the icons, all these icons are like washed out. You can barely see them. If you close SDR Angel and then open it again, it seems perfectly fine and 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 you know maybe until the next time you reboot so you can either pick this configuration which will help you out or I think it'd be better if I just start with a clean slate and just uh, kinda quickly walk through here where one I wanna select my sampling device so I'm gonna find the caribou light there you can see it's already being seen HIF is the antenna that I have hooked up that's gonna get you the controls here and the FFT and waterfall uh, just a couple things I'll change I'll just bump the bandwidth to as high as it can go I'll go to 162 about 25 we should be set up there for at least one of the channels of AIS and then we're gonna add some additional things here so we're gonna add a channel because we need a and you can just see all the different demodulators here so you know as long as you've got the bandwidth caribou light uh, you, you should be able to use a lot of these I'm just gonna focus on the AIS demodulator that's gonna open that up then we're gonna look for some features 
so we add a feature here you'll see that there's AIS here too this is kind of important because it's it seems to tie into the to the map and and being able to uh, and I'm gonna not not that I don't think it matters that much here uh, not looking to do anything you know just again this is just over the air information but but we should see some uh, boats popping up here once we get this going and the other thing we want to add while we're at it I guess we probably want to add a map so if we add the map when this loads it's going to try and load up a 3d map which is just not going to work so just click the little hamburger menu to the far right disable 3d maps hit ok that little hamburger menu was here and there's going to be all these windows here let's just try tile sub windows let's see what this looks like um, I didn't really make it look like how I had hoped let's see huh. where is oh I see yeah I don't want it like that I don't want it like that. Let's see. Dock, undock. I don't want that. Let me make some of these smaller and we'll see how this fits. It's kind of low or slow to load or to, you know, make changes when you're moving that map around. Just gonna make some of these windows oop a little smaller. Let's get a tile going on now. Oh my gosh. Here we go. We'll add back the map. And I'll just you get the the idea here so you might have to mess around with how the map is uh, looking <laughs> oh my goodness let's see waveform okay there we go all right so we're looking at 162025 we hit play we can see that we are getting data in from the caribou light and then really all we should have to do is raise the uh, the gain some and we'll give it a little bit and there we go we see we are receiving information if we use this AIS window and right click we should be able to find it on the map and so there are boats uh, out there you can see the data and the uh, messages both in the NEMA and HEX and what it is the ship report or position report this actually uh, I guess gives a little more of the information here underway using engine reserved for future just kind of specifies like what those relate to um, so that's pretty interesting all right there you go up and running with uh, AIS information with the caribou light and the S uh, and SDR angel